What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay Wilder. Team Wilder reveals concerns about UK showdown with Anthony Joshua over handling of Dillian White's UCAD case. Okay. It says here, uh, the reason is understood to be related to the handling of Dillian White's recent UCAD anti-doping case and the charging of his glove or the changing of his gloves prior to his July clash of Oscar Rivas. Of course, it was reported, but not official confirmed due to confidentiality that a drug test turn returned an adverse finding three days prior to White's win over Rivas. White, however, of course, all the, you know, the charges were dropped and cleared. Okay. Now, with Wilder's trainer and co-manager JD's, however, has been left in an unimpressed over the handling of the situation, describing it potentially criminal. Wherever the fight makes the most sense is fine with us. D's told the Daily Mail. I don't have any qualms about traveling or anything of that nature, but I will tell you, I would certainly be concerned given the Dillian White situation. I know that they cleared him of the drugs thing, but still, when they had a positive result and did not tell the opponent, that's problematic. I think that's potentially criminal. That's a big, big issue for me. Also, the fact that Dillian changed gloves without the other side being able to examine the gloves. So there would have a lot of things that would, ha would have to talk about relative to the BBB of C and making sure that it was a level playing field because those things were horribly handled. And in my opinion, set British boxing back a quite a few years. <clears throat> He's fought in the UK, meaning De uh, Deontay Wilder. And he's also traveled over small, over several times on his own. So he loves it there, JDs. That's really not the issue. It's just making sure that everything is on the up and up. And it's sad that that didn't used to be a concern, but lately that has been a concern and we just have to sort it all out. Those are the words of JD's. <clears throat> and that's what he had to say about the ordeal. Now, to me, it seems like JD's added a little bit, or basically he used, not even a little bit, he used uh, Dillian White's situation with a potential fight with Anthony Joshua. Now, a concern with Dillian White in the in the way that was handled, I should I should look at that as um a potential a potential reminder of what and what not to do if I'm some other team. You know, with the gloves that was you know, rather weird and bizarre because they couldn't find the gloves. It wasn't the changing of the gloves. They couldn't find it. You know, and that does make you think on, on what the hell happened to the gloves because like it's supposed to be a committee officer or someone in charge of keeping up with the gloves. That's why they mark the gloves to make sure those are the same gloves that the fighter selected and those are the gloves that will be fighting, that will be, uh, used that night. Okay. So that was weird. So it was a mis mix hap somewhere. Now, how did that happen? Who knows? But as far as the Dillian White UCAD situation, that's reaching. And it seems to me like JDs of all people should know, why would you bring up something that doesn't even, in, doesn't even concern Anthony Joshua? That has nothing to do with Anthony Joshua. In fact, that's almost, that's in, insulting. You know, that's like, oh, well, hey, you know, um, Jarrell Miller's from New York. Let me give you a prime example of what they're really saying. We're not going to fight Jarrell. We're not going to fight. We're not going to fight Adam Kalnaki in New York 
and I know he's from Chicago, but hear me out. We're not going to fight him in New York because um, because Jarrell Miller failed a drug test in New York. You know what I mean? That that doesn't make sense. That's like that's like Team Joshua saying, you know what? I'm not fighting in America no more because look how they handled the Jarrell Miller case. You know what I mean? It doesn't even make sense. It's reaching. It seems like to me they're making excuses. And there's no reason to make excuses to target Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua hasn't failed anything. They never had any type of uh, unprofessionalism in Team Joshua. Okay, so I don't see why they would bring or create something that never happened. Okay, now the Dillian White thing, yes, he should have told the other other uh, other party. But then if you are told not to speak on something that hasn't been cleared up yet, why would you mention it? You know, because at first when I heard that, I'm like, that is shitty. But now we know what we know with UCAD and it, and it wasn't even supposed to be leaked in the first place to even be talked about anyway. Okay. So JD's is saying, oh, well, Hey, I, I wouldn't, I, I would kind of look back. It puts British boxing back, but then he stops. You see, he pumps his brakes and says, oh, he's fought in the UK and he's also traveled several uh, on his own. He so he loves it there. So, but then you're trying to talk shit about a country but then not talk shit about a country. You know what I mean? They're trying to say, oh, well, I, I have my doubts, but he loves it over there. You know how JD's, oh, he loves it over there. I'm trying to tell you, don't worry. He loves UK, but I just have some, I, it sets it back some years is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, that type of shit, that slick ass way of talking and, and putting down really a country. Cause he didn't say, <clears throat> He didn't say, oh, I have my doubts about Eddie Hearn. He said, I have my doubts about British boxing, and it sets British boxing back a few years. You know what I mean? Because of one incident with Dillian White, and Dillian White is a matchroom fighter, and I know where this is going. You know, you got to connect the dots. Dillian White had the issue with UCAD, right? Dillian White is a matchroom fighter. Who is the CEO of matchroom? Eddie Hearn, right? So Eddie Hearn and all that is, is, is connected together. Then you see if you connect the dots, you can see where the origin of attack is. They were trying to attack uh, Eddie Hearn, but which is stupid. They went as far as attacking British boxing and put British boxing on display of having a reputation for cheating fighters. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, Dillian White didn't even get busted for nothing, right? He was alleged, you know, but I guess that means you're guilty until f to proven innocent. Right. And in this case, it don't matter because he didn't even get his just due. They prolonged his ass. So obviously that's that's how they, they look at it. But it ain't like Jarrell Miller didn't fail. And he's right over here in the U.S. of A. And he failed like a motherfucker. Not once, not twice, but three times a lady people. He failed, you know, but imagine Anthony Joshua saying, oh, man, you know, I don't want to come over there because you know Jarrell Miller. I don't think they they, they I don't think America's uh, uh, uh sets America back some years. Now imagine that. Matter of fact, picture Rob McCracken saying, I, I I have a problem with fighting in America because of uh of of Charles Martin testing positive. What the fuck does that have to do with Deontay Wilder? And you know what would have happened? The first thing people would say. All the all the people that hate Joshua anyway and everything across the pond, the first thing will come out of their mouth, people, is this motherfucker's scared and he's making up excuses. So guess what? Let's counterpunch this. JD's is scared and he's making up excuses in advance so he don't have to go to the UK. That's it. And if he knows Joshua is the A-side, which they know that, Joshua, ha they call all the shots over there. They try to admit like they do, but they don't. You know, they try to pr pretend like they they call shots, but they know they really don't. That's why they say, OK, this is how we'll spin this. We'll just say we're concerned about the drug use and the legitimacy of, of them taking care of uh, of things to keep us from going over there. Because they know if a fight gets made or a fight is offered to them once again, which I don't really care if it does or doesn't at this point, because. I have my own theory about that, and I will break that down later, I promise, in detail. But that's not about this. This is about this. 
Uh, that's just like saying, hey, uh, we won't go over there because of this. So you've already made an excuse on why based on a whole different fighter. You don't want to fight him, and now you're using your, your trainer, co-manager, to side with you. But, of course, the management are the people that's in charge of Deontay Wilder. So, this again, this could be all orchestrated at the end of the day, okay? But to use Dillian White's situation as a reason for not going to the UK is absolutely ludicrous. And that's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.